basketball at Stanford University. He now plays professionally for the New York Knicks. We scan Landry's brain while he watch clips of his own basketball highlights. Uh, just recently, in the last decade really, uh, there have been several um, uh, advances in brain research and uh, one of those is imaging. Um, our ability to image the brain without intruding into the skull has increased immensely. Uh, secondly, the human genome has been sequenced and the genomes of several humans have been sequenced so we know more about the genes involved in brains and also the genomes of a lot of organisms have been sequenced so we can compare the, the genes for the brains of other organisms with our brain and this is makes for very interesting science and the final thing is that uh, psychological s experiments have been coupled with imaging and with genomics and this makes understanding our behavior much much better so these three things together kind of create a perfect storm for uh, presenting the brain to the public. Everybody, everybody should should have their, a user's manual or some knowledge of, of their body because uh, if you don't, then uh, your health is in, in, in uh, uh, jeopardy, really. Uh, the more you know about your body, the more you can do things to, to uh, make sure your body stays healthy. And in particular, there's a lot that you need to know about the brain uh, to, to maintain its health and its, its uh, stability. So, so my favorite part of this exhibition is a walk-through brain that we have. It's not really like a, a like a walk-through brain that you might think. It's kind of conceptual and also structural. Uh, you walk into it and there's a big structure in the center that represents the base of our brain. Um, but around the outside of the base of the brain is the cortex and this is where all your thinking occurs. And in this part of the cortex we talk about things that the cortex does like uh, language, memory, and decision making. This is uh, uh, absolutely the best part of the exhibition for me because it it's, explains to me how I think, really. Neuron gesture table, so this uh, technology reads your hand shadow and it creates a neuron on the table. And then, as you can see, it makes this little dendrite pop out and the signal is being transmitted from one neuron to another through the dendrite. Look at that, see? See that little signal going? and you get more people on the table with their hands, you form a whole neural network. See how it goes? Wow. See? Look, it's now connected. Look, there it goes. Look, there goes the signal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> That's so interesting. I'm definitely going to have fun with that. Oh, yeah, this is, this is very popular already. I think, I think this is going to be... Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs>